Welcome to RK Tutorial Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timoshenko, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 3.2 and problem number 3.70. A prismatic bar AD of weight P is supported by two roller supports and subjected to the action of loads Q and R at its free ends A and D as shown in figure H. Determine the range of values of force Q for which the bar will remain in equilibrium. If A is equal to 2L by 3, B is equal to L by 3 and R is equal to 3P. That means the uh, bar AD is supported by two roller supports B and C. Here we would like to see that the bar will remain in equilibrium. So without these supports, we want to see the bar will remain in equilibrium. That means these reactions is not required to make the body is under equilibrium. So for that, how, what is the value of Q? Now let us see the, uh, the reaction forces at B and C, RB and RC. Now let us apply the equilibrium equation sigma Fy is equal to 0. There are two forces RB plus RC is equal to, there are three forces P, Q and R. P is the self weight, P plus Q plus R. And given that R is equal to 3P and upon substituting I will get RB plus RC is equal to 4P plus Q. This is equation number 1. Take moments about any point for that matter. So here I will take the moments about point B. And Q will, RB will not introduce any moment. But Q will introduce a moment in the counterclockwise direction. Since P is the self weight it is acting in the downward direction. So this will create a moment in the clockwise RC will introduce a moment in the counterclockwise, but R will introduce a moment in the clockwise. So there are two clockwise moments and there are two anticlockwise moments. Q is at a distance of A and P is at a distance of uh, L minus A and RC is at a distance of L and R is at a distance of L plus P. So you know all the uh, distances, hence I can write the equation P into L minus A plus RB to L plus P minus Q into A minus RC into L because Q and RC will introduce a moment in one direction and P and R will introduce the moment in the opposite direction. Now upon substituting given that A is equal to 2L by 3 so L minus 2L by 3 which gives L by 3 so P into L by 3 plus R value is given as 3P hence 3P into L plus B value is L by 3 so L plus L by 3 which gives the value of 4L by 3 minus q into a value is 2l by 3 and rc into l. So I can simplify this equation. Upon simplification, I will get rc is equal to 3p by 3 minus 2q by 3. And from equation 1, I can say rb is equal to 4p plus q minus rc that is 3, 13p by 3 plus 2q by 3. And upon simplification, you will get RB is equal to 5Q by 3 minus P by 3. But the, in the given problem, we would like to see the bar AB, the, uh, the bar AD is in equilibrium by itself. Hence, these two reactions are not required to make the bod body is under equilibrium. So in order to see that RC value must be equal to 0 and RB value must be equal to 0. For the bar will remain in equilibrium only if RC and RB is equal to 0. Now, R, uh, RC is equal to 0, that means 13P by 3 minus 2Q by 3 is equal to 0, or Q is equal to 6.5P. Uh, 6 Similarly, RB is equal to 0, that means this is equal to 0, and I will get Q is equal to 0.2P. Hence, the Q value must be within the limits of 0.2P to 65 5p that means 0.2p must be less than q and must be less than 6.5p so q must be uh, within the value of 0.2p to 6.5p so that the bar ad will be in equilibrium by itself hence this is the answer for the given problem